So, you've been roaming around bundle, looting blockers and other stashes looking for high value items like gold bars, GPUs and gold skulls to complete some of your passive upgrades or to barter for skeleton keys and secure backpacks. But you never seem to find the items you need or it is extremely difficult. Today, I will show you two keychains that will guarantee that you will find high value items with minimal effort. Hey everybody, sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to let you know that I went into Vondel and verified both uh, keychains are still working in season six so you can still enjoy them and let's get back to the video. The first keychain is a loop of seven locations meaning that you can start at any point in the chain and end up back to the same location. We begin the keychain loop at the restaurant at the exhibit. Drop through the hole on the roof and on the table next to the piano, you'll find the briefcase, which will give you the smuggler's drop key. The smuggler's drop is located in the building north of Castle. Inside the smuggler's drop, you'll find the bridge stash key. The bridge stash key can be found right here under the bridge in the water, and inside you'll find the diver's crate key. This time, I also managed to find a gold skull. The diver's crate key is located in the sunken houseboat near the bridge, and inside you'll find the equipment crate key. If you plan to make a secure backpack, make sure you pick out the drill since this is a guaranteed spawn for it. The equipment crate key is located in the waterways under a museum, and inside you'll find the sewers maintenance key. And this is uh, also a guaranteed spawn for a second drill that you'll need for a secure backpack. The sewers maintenance key is located in the waterways right here and inside you'll find the townhouse apartment key. As you can see, I also found a gold bar. The townhouse apartment is located here and this is a good area to loot for items. Keep in mind that other than the guaranteed restaurant briefcase key, the rest of the loot is random, so it can be different each time, but worth checking the entire apartment. This completes the keychain loop as the next step sends you back to the restaurant briefcase we opened at the beginning. Remember, you can start the loop at any of the seven locations and still be able to loot all of them. Keep in mind also that other than the keys and the two drills, the rest of the loot is random, so each item might be different each game. Me again. If you're enjoying the video, please give it a like and leave a comment. Also, you might want to consider subscribing with notifications on so you don't miss any future content. It greatly helps the channel and I truly appreciate it. Also, if you need help with missions, great gun builds, or you're just looking for teammates to run a few games with, check out my Discord server. The link is in the description and it's free for you to join. The second chain is a 12 locations chain which is one directional, so it is best to start at the beginning to ensure you loot all the spots. Personally, I like this chain better than the loop, as it offers more loot. Keep in mind that two locations in this chain will require additional keys to complete it, since a couple of the chain locations are inside locked POIs. You'll need a stadium key and a cruise terminal key. Alternatively, you can use a skeleton key to open those two locations. The chain starts at the mayor's briefcase. If you do not have a mayor's briefcase key, you can do some HVT contracts, loot containers, duffel bags and lockers, or simply use a skeleton key to start. You'll be able to craft more skeleton keys with the loot you find during the keychain. The mayor's briefcase is located here and inside you will find the stage bag key and other high value loot. There are two stage bag lo locations, one near university and one north of the fire department. Both locations usually have the same loot, including a guaranteed GPU and a buoyant house key. There are two buoyant houses that can be unlocked with a key and both offer great loot like gold stalls, gold bars, and GPUs. You might find other keys at this location in addition to the guaranteed veterinarian key. If you're on a hunt for gold bars, gold skulls, and GPUs, it is worth checking both locations, since they're nearby and the loot can be different between the two locations. In this run, one house had a gold skull on the first floor, and the other had a GPU. 
The veterinarian is located on the southern part of the zoo. There you will find the cruise terminal office key on top of some decent loot, but it's definitely not one of the best loot spots. The cruise terminal office is located here at cruise terminal. To access the cruise terminal office, you'll need a cruise terminal key or a skeleton key. Once you enter the cruise terminal, which normally has a ton of loot, make your way to the metal security hallway that has vending machines on the front side of the building. There you will see a locked door, which you can unlock with the cruise terminal office key. Inside the office, you will find the bike parking key and some loot. The bike parking is another location that has two buildings which are located north of Zoo. Inside each location, you will find the barista bag key and a large amount of great loot, including possible gold bars, gold skulls, and GPUs. Keep in mind that the loot in each building could be a bit different other than the guaranteed barista bag key. Also, like all other locations, the loot is random, so it will be different each game. The barista bag is located right here at the mall. Inside the small bar, you will see a duffel bag which is the barista bag. When you unlock it, you will get the windmill key. The windmill is located west of stadium. The windmill bag is on the top room of the windmill which you can access using the zip line. Once you open the bag, you'll get the houseboat key. The houseboat is located southwest of Castle. This location, like several of the other, will have some decent loot. And next to the bathroom on a dresser, you'll find the locker room key. The locker room is located at Stadium right here and to access it, you will need to use a stadium key or a skeleton key. There are two identical locker rooms that you can unlock. Both will give you the art center loft key and other good loot. Since you need to use an additional key to access this location, it is worth unlocking both locker rooms to get as much loot as possible. Also, the loot can be slightly different between the two locker rooms. The Art Center Loft is located right here. This location has some decent loot and will give you the Fire Department Dorm Room Key. The Fire Department Dorm Room is located inside the Fire Department, so you will need a Fire Department Key or a Skeleton Key to access it. The loot is not that great in the Dorm Room and there is no key inside of it which is where our 12 keychain ends. If you don't have a fire department key, I wouldn't waste a skeleton key use for this location, since the loot inside the dorm room is definitely not worth it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and uh, come check out uh, my Discord server. The link is in the description.